Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a basic Gantt app step by step with the help of two components Vue.js and DHTMLX Gantt. Before we start, please make sure you have the latest stable versions of Node.js and Vue.js installed on your computer. You can verify what is your Node.js version by entering the command node minus V in your terminal. For our purposes, we'll need at least version 8.12. Before we get down to creating our app, we should also install the Vue command line interface. It can be installed in two ways, via npm or yarn. In this video, we use yarn and run the following commands, yarn global add at view slash CLI. Now let's start with creating a project for our Gantt chart app. Enter view create Gantt view command in your terminal. You'll be asked to pick a preset Babel and ESLint and the package manager to use in order to install dependencies Yarn or NPM. By pressing the Enter button for each question, you can choose the default options as we did. If the project is created successfully, you'll see a screen like that in a few seconds. Now let's run our app locally. Choose your working directory, cd gant view, and install dependencies. We use Yarn. If you use NPM, you need to call npm install and npm run dev commands. Good job! The app is running on the local host. At this point, we're going to add DHX Gantt into our app. First, we need to stop the app by pressing Ctrl plus C in the command line. Next, run the following command for yarn, or npm install dhtmlx Gantt save for npm. Then we'll go to the app directly and create a folder with the Gantt file there. In the newly created Gantt view file, we'll add the following lines of code. Please note that every line of code you see here, you can just copy in the article we've already posted in the blog. Great! The Gantt chart component is ready now. When the element will be added to the page, it will initialize the Gantt chart under the Gantt ref. Then, the Gantt chart will load data from the task's property. Right now, we need to add our Gantt chart into our Vue.js app. Open the app view file and replace the code there with the following lines. Now we run yarn serve to reload the page. Here is our Gantt chart with predefined tasks. In this video, I'll show you how you can track changes inside Gantt by an example of a simple change log. We'll create a neat list, which will write all changes made to our Gantt chart. Let's get back to the file of our Gantt chart component. Here, we need to add the code that will trace and emit changes made to Gantt. Firstly, we need to create a data processor instance with a custom router object, where the router is a function, and call the emit method to pass data processor events to the parent component. Thus, we attach handlers to the events of Gantt for adding, deleting, and updating Gantt links and tasks. When a handler is called, a Vue.js event will be triggered with appropriate parameters. Secondly, we have to add these event listeners into the app view file and prepare a new container, where we'll display a log of user actions. So let's add the following code into the app view file. With the help of this code, we define where we're going to store log entries via the messages property. We also specify new methods for showing the latest messages on top of our change log and creating log messages for actions performed with tasks, log task update, and links, log link update, and adding them to the message stack, add message. The last thing we need to do is to specify the template of the app to show the Gantt chart with the updated tasks and links on the left and the change log on the right. We add handlers to the emit calls we make in the Gantt component, so each time Gantt data is changed, one of our methods is defined, and a description of an action will be added to the messages list. And here we define the container for our messages list. Each time a new message is added to the list, it will be displayed on the page. Now it's time to check if everything works as expected. As a result, the change log will show the message. So far it wasn't too difficult, right? Now we can try to display some additional information about the tasks users select. Let's add the following lines of code right after the Gantt create data processor in the Gantt view file. When a user selects a task, we can capture the API events of DHX Gantt because the on task selected event fires, and then we emit them to the Vue.js component. When a new task is saved in the database and gets a permanent ID, the on task ID change fires. 
as the task ID changes and it enables us to keep track of the newly selected tasks. Now we open the app view file and add a handler for the tasks selected. So here we added a new container bound to the selected task property of the app view component using v if directive and a handler for the task selected event we now emit. Now we need to add the following property to the app view component right after the messages property. Additionally, among other methods, we need to specify the select task method used in the selection handler we added above. As a result, when a user selects a task in our Gantt chart, the Gantt component emits the task selected event. Then this event is captured by the app view component. The selected task property is updated and triggers a repaint of the Gantt selected info element with task details. And the icing on the cake? Let's make the information about the selected tasks look nice and readable. We can apply the 2% and nice data filters to display the progress completion and start and end dates in a human friendly way. Don't forget to specify the styles in the app view file for displaying the information about the selected tasks the way you need. And here's the final result. Download the full source code of Vue.js Gantt chart demo from our GitHub repository. Watch other video tutorials on how to use DHX Gantt with different server-side and client-side technologies. Learn how to customize Gantt chart elements according to your needs from the series of Gantt configuration tutorials. Browse DHX Gantt webpage and download a free 30-day trial version. Our technical support team will be eager to help you during your evaluation period. Comprehensive documentation and samples cover all aspects of working with Gantt.